Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneer Southeast here again with the Windows 10 Tech News and Reviews website at YouTube. And it's a new YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to it yet, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, I am uh, sending you a, uh, a review today. We're doing a review. So let's get at it. Um, let me open up my new uh, Microsoft Edge for Chromium web browser dev channel. Uh, wonderful uh, browser, by the way, if you haven't tried it. Brand new. I'm on the dev channel, so I get updates about once every, you know, three or four days or so uh, for this browser. Really love it. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, what I want to talk about today is an application that runs in Windows 10, also runs in Linux. Uh, I have it running, actually, on my Raspberry Pi right now. And so it is running in Linux. It's running on Raspbian OS, which is a, Debian, a derivation of a Debian or Debian 9, I believe, or 10, rather, uh, Linux. And so um, the review that I want to do is on an application called Tiny Tiny RSS. And here is the website interface for it. My IP address uh, on the Pi is 192.168.1.90. So if I click this button, it brings up the actual interface, the admin interface for authenticating into Tiny Tiny RSS. Now, Tiny Tiny RSS, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, RSS, it stands for a really simple syndication. And it's an aggregator, uh, and it's an application that runs on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and at this address, which is the address for the Pi, I can authenticate into it. And it is 192.168.1.90 uh, forward slash TT dash RSS. Okay. Um, and what that will allow me to do is to load RSS feed uh, URLs into the application. And I'll show you that in a moment. And actually pull up my news that way. I've got control over period periodicity of these feeds. Uh, most of them are set for 24 hours. I do have a couple new ones, technology news, that are set for 15 minutes. So I get news updates every 15 minutes. Um, so this is the interface right here out on my Windows 10 platform in my browser. Um, the login for it is admin. I've changed the password here. I'm on the default profile, which is Data Pioneer. Uh, and so let me go ahead and click the login button. And that should log me in. And here I am. Okay. So it is not secure, but I don't care because, you know, it's a local server running on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I currently have 421 articles that I haven't looked at yet, and that's okay because I wanted to, it to pile up so I could do this review. Um, here's the interface. You've got your main screen here, and you've, over here you have your articles that you can set up. Uh, for instance, on The Verge, if I right-click and select edit feed it brings up this interface for editing the feed you have the general which I can change the title here I've got the verge set up um, the URL is the one I got from the website itself which is www.theverge.com forward slash RSS forward slash index dot XML and that will be um, set up accordingly to the website itself each website controls their own RSS feeds, and they have their own uh, URL uh, assignments for those feeds. This one happens to be an XML page, extensible markup language page. Uh, I've got various categories set up here, and uh, the category here is technology. I can change it to business or news right now or uncategorized. I've got it set for technology. Uh, the site URL itself is www.theverge.com. The Verge is one of my favorite um, technology uh, news sites. I've got the interval right now to set up to every 15 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and change that away from that and change it daily. I can do it, you know, 15, 30 minutes, hourly, every four hours, every 12 hours, daily or weekly. I'm going to do it every day. The article purging, um, by default, it purges, uh, I think it's uh, every three months, it purges uh, articles here. This is a database that controls this. Uh, there is a, a database that controls all the articles and uh, the rendering of those. And so you're purging the database, basically, to reduce its size. 
I'm not too concerned about that because uh, I've got 32 gigs of space out there on the Raspberry Pi, and so that's not a big deal. You can set it to never purge. Uh, I've got use default, all right? And I've got this feed requires authentication. I don't believe it does, but if, if it does, you can select that. And, um, and it will require authentication. Now, where that comes into play is if you've got like a subscription to the New York Times and you, you don't get anything if you don't subscribe. And so you would put in your credentials there. And then when you hit this particular site uh, through the tiny, tiny RSS, it would automatically update you because you have a subscription. Okay. Uh, under options, you can do include an email digest, uh, always display image attachments. I've got that checked. Do not embed media, uh, media, media, media. Um, I've got that checked or ticked as well. Cache media, I've got it ticked. Mark update, uh, updated articles as unread. Uh, I've got that ticked. The icon here, I've got this for The Verge. This one was actually provided by The Verge when I set it up. So I left it there. But if I wanted my own uh, custom icon, I could replace it. And then there's a plugins. I don't use that um, uh, at all. And so if I wanted to unsubscribe from The Verge here, I could just hit the unsubscribe button. Right, I'm going to go ahead and cancel here. Or actually, I needed to save it. So let me go back. Uh, edit the feed and change that away from 15 minutes to daily and now let me save it. Okay, so now uh, I've got ZDNet, Tech News, and Technology NPR under Technology category. Under News, I've got BBC News Home, uh, Meet the Press. I've got Reuters US and under Business, which is another category, I've got Reuters Business News. Um, it's right now it's under, under uh, or, or uh, highlighting, highlighting on, on fresh, fresh articles. articles. Okay, you've okay, got you've starred got articles. If you star these star articles, articles here by clicking that button, you can bring, you can bring up, up only the starred, starred articles. articles. So if I'm so reading an article, article or I want to go back to it later, later I can star it, and then when I get back in here again, I can click on starred articles, and it'll only bring up the ones that I starred, which is kind of nice. Okay, I can archive these as well and do the same with archive. Let's come, Let's come across, across here to this, this window, window. And, and under, under select, select you've got, you've got all, all or unread or invert, invert the order, order. none, none um, selection, selection toggle, toggle unread, unread starred, starred, published, published mark as read, read, set score, archive, archive or show, show as feed. feed. Okay. Okay. Under, under adaptive, adaptive uh, uh, I can do all articles, articles starred, starred published, published, unread, unread or, or with note. note. Under, Under default, default, I can select, I can select default, default, newest, newest first, first, so the newest, newest articles article will come up come first, the oldest the articles article first, first, or by or title. title. And then and under Marcus, Marcus Red, Red um, I can say, say yes, yes, okay, and it will mark, mark all the articles, articles that, are that are listed under the fresh, fresh as red. I don't yeah, want to do that right now, so cancel. If you come over here, here are some actions that you can do, and so those are the ones that are there. You can also log out of the application from there. All right, so this, uh, this is tiny, is tiny, tiny RSS. RSS. So let me bring up, bring up uh, the Verge, Verge, for instance, okay? okay. And, and so here's an article, article bad, air bad air days are even deadlier, deadlier than, we than we thought. So if, so I, if scroll I scroll down, down I can go down, down to, to some more articles. articles. Um, um, let me uh, uh, keep going, going. And, and let's get to an article that I want to bring up to take a look at. How to monitor, how to monitor and, limit and limit your data, data usage on Android, Android phones. phones. If, if I, I click this link, this link it'll take me out to the, to the actual, actual article, article on the web, web on the Verge, Verge website, website, which is really, really nice. nice. Um, and so, so I can I read the read entire article. article. If there's a video, video I can play the video, video whatever I want to do. do. So let's go back, go back to, the, uh, to the application, the application here. here. And so, you know, I can scroll through all of these. Here was an article, was an article that, I, that I thought was interesting. It says, says Qantas, Qantas Airways, Airways will test if people can endure 20-hour flights, flights, flights to Australia in coach. In coach. Uh, uh, interesting. interesting. Um, um, let me click on that, on that link. link. And so here's, and so the, here's article the article on The Verge. The Verge. You, don't you don't have to go have to search in The Verge, Verge you know, for these articles. articles. Um, you can you set up set alerts here. And so I can be alerted to an article that I'm interested in, which is really nice as well. 
This is a pretty long flight, 20 hours here. Uh, the longest flight I've endured so far nonstop was about 11 and a half, 12 hours. And that was when I uh, went to uh, Europe back in uh, 2009. So it was a long flight. Uh, it was a whole work day and then some uh, in the air. So that's not a very good thing. All right, so let's go back to the application. And let's go up to BBC News Home. And so here we have... Uh, Articles from BBC News. Here's one that says, Boy 12 falls to death from apartment in Spain. I'm going to click that one and uh, bring that one up. It'll go out to the website. So here it is. Here's the article about the boy who fell to his death from an apartment in Spain. Don't know if you've ever been to Spain. I have. And uh, it's a bit different in Spain than it is here in the United States. Apartments aren't as secure. Um, they don't have, um, you know, Railings, railings around, around the, the, the terraces, terraces and things like that, that the apartments, apartments for the most part. Most part. And uh, people hang their laundry, laundry outside, outside the windows, windows in apartments, apartments in Spain, which is really weird. weird. At, least At least they did in the 80s when I was there. Was there. Okay, okay, so, so uh, um, if, if I, I take, take this, this article, article here that I'm, I'm, I'm done reading it, let's say this one here, Lucas Briscoe was on holiday with his mother. I can right-click on it, or actually, let me... Let me do this one. I can right-click on it and say mark as read. And so it will come up and say mark two articles as read. So it was that one and the one above it. Uh, and I'll say OK. And so both of these now are marked as read. They've got a green box next to it. And so now they'll come off the screen here when I uh, click on it. Um, let's go to NBC Meets the Press. OK. And this one's Larry... Cudlow, uh, Beta O'Burk, uh, and uh, or or Rourke rather, and Mark Sanford. If I click this button here, it should come up. This Sunday, economic jitter. Whoa! Okay, got a little too loud, and need to turn it down here. Uh, let's do that again. After the Dow drops 800 points, the Dow average plummeting three percent. A steep drop on Wall Street today. Okay, so I can listen to, uh, you know, meet the press right here from within tiny, tiny RSS. Uh, let's go down to ZD Net Tech News and take a look at some of the articles there. Uh, Chrome Devs propose privacy sandbox to balance and targeting target ad uh, ad targeting and user privacy. So I click that link there. Um, Chrome Devs uh, propose privacy sandbox. Okay, so. Uh, says we're says sorry, sorry, there's a problem, there's a problem with, with the video, video, so we can't see the video. See the video. That's okay. We shouldn't look at it anyway. And uh, and so, yeah, so here we have, and I can add uh, more uh, things to this. If I'm going out to a website, let me try to do this and see if I'm successful in doing it. Um, let's go out to kadaza.com and go out to Tech News link. And let's, let's see, see if, if I can, I can find, find something, something on ARS Technica. Technica. And so let's see if there's um, RSS, RSS feeds here feeds that I can grab. grab. Um, um, let me open, open this up. up and, and I may not, may be, able not be able to find, find anything, anything here, here. Uh, handy. handy. Um, let's go back let's out to ARS, 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 ARS Technica. Technica. And let's come let's down. down. Um, accept the accept cookies. cookies. So it'll leave me alone. Here we go, RSS feeds. Click on that. Here are the main feeds. Um, there's one here for Technology Lab, Information Technology. Here's all news, every article from every section of the site. Um, I could be specific and check one of these, you know, if I'm not interested in all the news that ARS Technica has, Technica has to offer. Uh, but I'm going to go that and do that for now. So I'm going to click the all news. And then, and then up here, here in the you, in the address, address window, window uh, here is the feed, feed okay, okay, for that, that particular all news, news feed. feed. Notice, Notice it's different. It's different. There, there's not the dot XML here. here. So I'm going to right click on it, it and I'm going to copy, copy it, it. And then I'm going to go back into, into the application, the application here. here. All right. All right. And, and I'm going, going to um, come up and let's see here. Select. Here and let's go to feed. No, adaptive. No, give me a second. I have to find out how to get in here again because it's been a while since I did this. Um, 
subscribe to feed, okay? okay. And, so and so it was on the pancake or the, the yeah, the yeah, pancake, pancake here. here. Subscribe, subscribe to feed. I'm going to right click and paste, paste that, that in. in. Um, at least I thought I was. Let me just go in here and do a control V. Paste it in, and then I'm going to put it as a category of technology. And I'm not going to check the box that this feed requires authentication. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to it. Okay. And so now you'll notice I've got ARS Technica here. And there's no no content right now because uh, it hasn't had time to build. Um, ARS Technica is what I want to call it, but I can, you know, change its name if I want to. That's fine. I'm going to say uh, default interval, I believe, is like 24 hours. So I'm going to say every 15 minutes so I can get content to come in here quicker. Uh, and I'm going to click Save. Okay. And so in about 15 minutes, this will start to fill up with more content. All right. So this has been a quick review of Tiny Tiny RSS News Aggregator um, running on my Raspberry Pi. And I'm bringing it up into Windows 10 Professional on my desktop. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this particular article. Um, if you want to learn more about Tiny Tiny RSS, uh, I'll put this link out in the uh, uh, underneath the video. Um, let me do Tiny Tiny RSS and see if I can find it. Um, Raspberry Pi. If you own a Raspberry Pi, you can do Tiny Tiny RSS Raspberry. Pi Geek, Geek, and there it, there it is. is. And so, so you, can you can get the download, download for it here. You can install it on your Raspberry Pi, Pi. And, and you can you set it up set exactly, exactly like I have it here. here. Okay? okay? So this so has been a quick video, video a review of, of Tiny Tiny RSS. RSS. Hope, you hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy these uh, articles, articles. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to me there. Hit the bell, and so you'll get notified every time I upload a a video. And I really appreciate it. And you have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.